dear Capricorn, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your mid-month reading. Yes, for July of 2021. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here, so keep that in mind. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, also, even though this is a mid-month, mid-July reading, this really is quite a timeless reading. Whenever you're guided to watch this and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah? Okay, Capricorn, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. Now, the interesting thing about your energy or this pre-shuffle is that you have four cards here and all four of them fell face down. And when I turned them over and I read into it, I was like, okay, whatever Capricorn is doing right now, it's a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. They're keeping their cards close to their chest, yeah? What you have here is the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Fool, the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the sun underneath that. Whoa, and the moon underneath that. Whoa, Capricorn. The sun, the moon, and judgment. Okay, so uh, it feels like you're working quite diligent diligently towards something. That's nothing new for a Capricorn. Okay, great. Um, but it feels like something has activated you here. You've become activated. For some of you, it feels like you've come to a greater sense of self. There's something about yourself or a deeper understanding of yourself that has come online here. There's something, it does, it definitely feels spiritual. Um, but it could be spiritual in the sense that this is just like some sort of divine inspiration or something that really lights your soul up, okay? And thus there is a decision that you needed to make in terms of this. And it feels pretty, pretty basic whether to follow through with whatever it is you're feeling inspired towards or not. It looks like you're following through with that because then you have the, the fool with the eight of cups. You're planning on leaving something behind, something that I feel like is well-established, whatever that could be for you. And then there's the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're working very strong, very diligently towards this. But again, you're working in secret. Like this is something that people don't know, that you're not trying to make available to the, 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 the knowledge of the general public, I guess we could say. I don't even think you're telling your closest people, friends, family, relationships, whatever. There's the sun and the moon and then judgment. So there is a level here, Capricorn, of potentially your masculine and feminine sides or your light and your dark, your good and your bad, your positive, negative, whatnot, whatever, coming together. Having gone through the dark night of the soul, having gone through the light of the soul, and now, like, actually, having gone through the darkness of the soul, only to come out and emerge into the light, and then have an understanding of what you're being called to do, or what you're being influenced or guided towards. I hope this is making sense for you. But this was a very internal journey, okay? This is not something that people are aware of. This is all internal, all right? Eight of Pentacles again. Yeah, you're working really hard. Okay. All right, Capricorn. What's this? Ace of Cups. Whatever it is you're moving forward towards, is there's a deeper sense of self-love involved with it. De definitely a deeper sense of self-love. And then there was the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> that could represent a relationship, but also it kind of represents the bond and the union within yourself. Okay. All right. Um, let me give this five shuffles for you, Capricorn, and then we'll see what else we have for you in this message. Yeah? One. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs to get a uh, bigger picture view of what could be going on for you in this moment. This is two. Also, watch your Venus sign if you're looking for love messages specifically. Yeah? Both your Venus sign and the Venus sign of your potential mate if you are aware of it or your actual partner yeah this is three for my capricorns sun moon rising and venus this is four and this is five all right 
let's close, cut the deck. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, Capricorn. You have the five of cups. Okie dokie. Underneath the five of cups is the world. Underneath the world is the ace of pentacles. And then underneath the ace of pentacles, there's that two of cups again. All right, so the five of cups is representing energies of sorrow, despair, uh, mourning. But this is, uh, this is you going through the emotions of feeling the, the, the mourning period of some sort of cycle closing out for you. And again, I feel like this is extremely internal. I really don't feel like you're trying to share this, <clears throat> this development or this grieving process or anything with anybody. Because you recognize that this is closing out and that there's a new opportunity in front of you coming forward fairly soon. And then there's the Two of Cups, yeah, to the Eight of Cups underneath that and the Magician. Uh, so this is definitely talking about the bond within yourself, Two of Cups, that is allowing you or influencing you or guiding you to walk away from something. Yep, the Magician is under that with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands underneath that. So... While there is a sense of mourning here, a sense of sorrow, a sense of needing to grieve, Capricorn, I don't feel like that's really, no, okay. I, what I just heard is you're not allowing that to affect you much. Because there's a sense of inspiration that is driving you forward here. Okay. All right, let's get into the rest of this here. First set, set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. You've got the Four of Cups. Officially done with the state of being, is what I'm hearing. Officially done with the current state of being. Ready to move forward. Desiring to move forward. Okay. Four of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Cups. There's something about your relationship, potentially, or your situationship, potentially, or your, just your situation as a whole that doesn't speak to your heart any longer. Your heart wants to move forward from this. It wants to leave the past or leave it behind. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. You have the King of Pentacles standing on your own. This is you being very firm and solid in who you are, what it is you want. Not being swayable. The King of Pentacles is coupled with the Nine of Cups. Somehow, Capricorn, I feel like you're very happy on your own. You're very solid. You're very stable. You've got what it is that you want. You've got what it is that you need. You don't really need this circumstance or this situationship any longer. You may also be very financially stable and able to make this move for yourself. And that's really all it is that you need, or that's what you feel it is that you need. That's all you feel that you need. I mean, sure, money money pays the bills, but like, there's no emotion there. Money doesn't necessarily make you happy, but I don't know. Let's not go down that road. Your challenge here, Capricorn, is the emperor. Okay, being the authority, standing up for yourself, going in the direction that you choose to go in, being the master of your own domain. This is starting to take a turn uh, in a direction that I uh, that doesn't feel so good because it feels like this might be ego and material driven. Ego and materialism driven. And I'm getting that, I'm starting to get that from the King of Pentacles and this Nine of Cups. And now the emperor here is speaking to a level of control. That control and autonomy that, yeah, you have in, in your life, but I feel like it's an overexertion. That's what I'm hearing. An overexertion of control and um, self-sufficiency. The emperor is coupled with the page of pentacles. Somebody here is determined to start a new reality. Take a leap of faith. Move in a new direction.
Wow, this is really short. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, is the King of Cups, though. Okay, all right. So maybe this is a situation in which you are, you're doing what you know is right. You're doing what you need to do. And if this does involve a relationship, it feels like here someone is actually making a dis an executive decision to not allow someone else to rely on them any longer. King of Cups is coupled with the Two of Swords. Somebody has a heart, but they're not showing it. They're not openly expressing it. But their decisions are made from the place of the heart. So now, as I'm feeling through this Capricorn, it feels like somebody here recognizes that either they don't want to be in a relationship any longer, or they recognize that, that they cannot provide the emotional stability or whatever. They can't provide what the partner actually needs in the relationship. And so they're taking matters into their own hands and are putting an end to it moving forward. And it might be that there is no discussion that's happening here because no, this person doesn't want to discuss it. Okay, I just heard they don't need to discuss it. Because ultimately it is their decision. I mean, it's their life. It's their decision. But I feel like somebody here is recognizing that they need to set someone else free. And this Ace of Pentacles is not necessarily representing a new beginning for the person that is deciding to cut themselves out of something. <clears throat> it's a new opportunity for the person that they're setting loose. Because now they have the opportunity to find or go after exactly what it is that they want. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yeah? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>